required for the party zone, the newest and hottest club TV dance show in the area. And where we're located today is we're in a convention center in Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's a nice historical building, but more importantly, this is where the Miss America pageant goes on every year. So what we're going to do is we're going to provide you with behind-the-scenes look at the Miss America pageant 1999, as well as give you an exclusive interview, which we only had three minutes to do this, so enjoy it, of uh, 1998 Miss America Kate Schindel. And at the same time, we're going to take a, a couple minutes to interview girls from other surrounding states. That's all next on The Party Zone. sitting here with Miss New Jersey. How are you? Very good. How are you? Fine, thanks. Um, for our viewers at home, can you give us an idea what brought you up to this point to Miss America? Well, I didn't know much about the Miss America organization, what it offered and what it was all about until December of uh, 1997, which wasn't too long ago. A friend of mine had made me aware of the platform issue and uh, the scholarship opportunities, and it really appealed to me, and I competed in January. And I've just always been a performer, and I've always loved interviewing and speaking publicly, so I've always had big dreams. So. <laughs> now, if we can give everybody at home a brief description of yourself, how old are you? I'm 24. Mm -hmm. Are you going to school? I graduated Ithaca College in 1996 with a music education major, uh, degree, music education degree. And since then, I have been performing professionally and teaching part-time. And how about your hobbies? My hobbies. I love to rollerblade and listen to music. Listening to music is uh, one of my favorite things to do, and lighting candles, and just uh, being with my family. What, what, what advice would you give to the girls watching at home that want to pursue something like this? I would, uh, the advice that I would give is to always dream big. Um, sky is the limit. Work hard, but have a good time. Enjoy life. Find a balance. Don't have too much fun, but don't work too hard. So uh, find a balance and uh, just don't let anyone get in your way of your dreams. Yeah, it is. That's good advice. Thank you. And it's proven to be true. <laughs> um, so how are you making out here in Lake City? Oh, I'm having an incredible time. This is, um, everyone has said it's a one-lifetime experience, and I'm really making the best of it. I've become really close with a lot of these girls, and I'm just enjoying the entire experience. So whatever happens, happens, because this is just amazing. Now, down in the future, do you plan to stay in New Jersey? I love New Jersey. I was just going to say, I'm very honored to be representing New Jersey. It's a lot of people take New Jersey for granted. It doesn't get enough credit. There's so much to be offered. There's so much beauty here. Um, there's so much offered to us with the arts. We're close to New York City. We're close to Philadelphia. We're close to the shore. There, it's a great state. I'm very happy here. What part of the city are you from? I'm from Bergen County, about 20 minutes from New York City. It's a nice little suburb. Yeah. Well, good luck to you and whatever your future brings. Thank you very much.
very much and good luck to all of you out there with everything you do. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Tom McGuire for the Party Zone. Be sure to check out our new time slot, 6.30 p.m. Sunday evening on WWAC TV 53 in South Jersey for the Party Zone, the hottest news dance show in the area. Be sure to join us on our all-day taping October 11th from the Metropolis Nightclub in Pensacola, New Jersey. That's all afternoon. We have a lot of surprises for you, one of them being behind the scenes of the Miss America pageant. Also joining us will be DJ Joel Furness spinning the hottest music in the area, along with host... Rich Dufreak, he's from the hottest radio station in Philadelphia also. That's on WWAC TV 53, Sunday evening at 6.30 p.m. You can. Yeah. Parmesan. an exciting career in modeling. Call now for your free Barbizon booklet and start on the new, more fabulous you today. Barbizon. You can get the look, poise, and confidence of a Barbizon model. Call now to visit our school and agency and come in and receive a free gift. Take the first step. Call Barbizon today at 649-9700. Barbizon. The Promenade is Ocean City's only outdoor eatery. Located 8th Street in the Boardwalk, the Promenade has every kind of food imaginable. Pizza, fries, the best funnel cakes on the Boardwalk, lemonade, cheesesteaks, hot dogs, and Mexican food. We even have pierogies, ribs, roasted chicken, breakfast, and the only pizzeria in the United States where you can make your own pizza. We even have laser tag. The fast, friendly service and quality food make your trip to the Boardwalk even more enjoyable. Meet your friends at the Promenade for the best food, fun, and fantasy you can have. Yeah, I'll Storm. Introducing Storm, a whole new kind of lemon line. It's time for that party zone exclusive interview with Miss America 1998, Kate Schindel. I'm Tom McGuire, standing here with 19, 1998 Miss America. Kate, how are you? Hi, how are you? Doing? Fine, thanks. Right. Uh, can you give us our, our viewers at home an idea of what it's been like for Miss America in the last past year? It's crazy. The job of Miss America has taken me about 20,000 miles every month, and I've spent 90% of my time talking about HIV AIDS. That's kind of what Miss America does now. It's not a ribbon-cutting job anymore. It's a job about social activism, and I'm really glad to be part of it. Okay. Has that changed your life at all this past year? Well, it has changed my life, certainly. I don't know that it's changed me as a person, but the interesting thing is that it's changed the way some people treat me. I think it's kind of funny. Um, people treat you like a, a normal person when you're just in your own identity, and then when they see you as Miss America, somehow everything changes. You know, people treat you differently. But um, well, For the good. Uh, for the better, uh, in, in most cases. But I think that the onus is on me to continue to remind people that I don't necessarily view myself as someone who's up on a pedestal. I view myself as someone who's been given a lot of opportunities by a wonderful program to try and make a difference in people's lives. So where do you go from here now that the glamour's gone and you're moving back to your regular life? Now that I'm a has-been? Uh, not quite. Um, I'm going back to school. I have classes starting a week from today, and I'm doing my senior year at Northwestern, and then I am probably moving to New York and hoping for a career on Broadway. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll let you go. Take care. Bye-bye.
Okay, now we're sitting here with Miss Pennsylvania. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Um, give, give us some viewers at home an idea of what brought you up to this point in Miss America. Well, a lot of persistence. I, I competed locally uh, five times before I won my local title, and last year was my first time at States, and I was in the top ten, and then I knew that uh, I still had some uh, umph left in me, so I decided to go for it again, and here I am. So. Is this glamorous as people think it is? No. A lot of girls your age think, oh, you know, it's great. The, the... It's, it is wonderful. It's fabulous, especially if you're looking for scholarship money, but it's not all glitz and glamour. There's a lot of community service, which is what this pageant is, uh, is primarily based on. So I, I go out and I work, work, work. It's a 24-7 job. How old are you now? I'm 22. Are you going to school? Yeah, well, I graduated from the University of Pittsburgh, and I plan on going to grad school for ethnomusicology. In Pennsylvania? Uh, hopefully in New York. I'd like to go to NYU. They have a good uh, program for that. Okay. So how's your stay in Atlantic City thus far? It's been fabulous. It's really been a lot of fun. The girls have been wonderful. Uh, we've actually just stayed in the convention hall every single day um, from morning until night all week. So we really haven't gone out very much, but at all, really. So you're getting along pretty well with the girls? Yeah, we are. We are really getting along very well. We met a lot of friends. Okay. Got a hula. Did you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are your hobbies? I love to dance. Um, I try to dance as much as I can because that keeps my spirits up. Um, I also like exercising. Anything that keeps me active. Or I also like to listen to music. So. One final thought. What would be your advice to girls out there that want to pursue the Miss American pageant or any pageant in general? Uh, dream big and uh, you're a winner no matter what really you are. That's good advice. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. It's glad to have you. Good to be here. Thank you. The storm? Introducing Storm, a whole new kind of landline. It tastes so smooth, it'll blow you away. Decent. Oh, no. To go? Take your thirst by storm. Providing the finest in detail and services across all of Southern New Jersey. Our mobile unit is equipped with 150 gallons of water, electric, and top-of-the-line products to make your car showroom clean. Our services include exterior washing and waxing, interior cleaning, as well as carpet shampooing for any vehicle, residentially and commercially. Want to look good on the water, too? We will clean your boat from down to stern. For all of your detailing needs, call us at 1-800-266-6553. We treat your car like our own. Party zone. Now, before we back to more dancing, we're, we're going to take you on a behind-the-scenes look at the Miss America pageant. We're going to show you where the girls get changed in three minutes, um, where they eat every day, the big hall, and where they go to when they actually have to take a nap and they actually do get tired. And I think they're only allowed 15 minutes at a time to rest, so that's not a lot. Oh, and by the way, yes, we do have more interviews of the contestants of the 1999 Miss America pageant. Let's take a look.
Great this morning, thank you. Great. Uh, for, for our audience, we have uh, young girls, relatively 15 to 20, 21, and uh, I want you to give us an idea of what you've done to get to this point, to Miss America. It is lots of hard work. You have to persevere, and you can never lose sight of your goals. And I think with that in mind, you can do anything that you want. Now, what was the stages of your competition to get, get here? The stages of my competition? I had to compete in talent, which is 40% of your score, and interview is 30%, and then swimsuit and evening wear together count for 30%. Okay. You look tired. I'm very exhausted. <laughs> it is a lot of hard work, and I think a lot of people don't realize that, including myself, until I got to this point. Briefly, give us your, your schedule here in Lang City for this for the Miss America pageant. Uh, usually we get up about 7 in the morning, we're here by quarter of 8, we have breakfast, and we rehearse all day long, we go home for an hour for dinner, and then we're on stage for showtime. Okay, now give us a description of, of your hometown and what it's like up there. Ooh, the state of Maine. I live in a very small town, the population is 800 people, wow. so it's pretty impressive to be down here and where there's all kinds of people, and some of the girls are from larger cities, so it's pretty interesting. Do you like Atlantic City? I love Atlantic City, I, but if I was 21, I'd be able to gamble, and that would be even funner. <laughs> yeah, but that's not guaranteed you're going to win any money. That's right. <laughs> One last question. What would you recommend for girls uh, your age that may want to pursue this, this field? I would recommend that they really think about it, and I'm sure that every girl out there has a talent, and that they really need to pursue whatever their goals are. Is this glamorous as people think it is? Absolutely not. <laughs> is your family here? Oh yes, my family's here. Actually, I have about a hundred people here, friends and family from the state of Maine, so go Black Bears. Yay! So you have a lot of support? Yes, I do. All right, thanks for your time. Thank you. <laughs> scenes of the Miss America pageant Lang City and with me is Miss New York. How are you? Good, how are you? Fine, thanks. Uh, thanks for coming. Thank you. Um, for the people watching, uh, I want to get an idea of, of what steps brought you to Miss America. Well, I entered my local pageant. It was This was my first pageant ever. My local was, I was Miss Staten Island. Then as your local winner, you go to your state and I was Miss New York. What age were you when you started? This is my first year. I'm 20 years old. Yeah. And then you find yourself in Miss America somehow, so... So now that you're in Lang City, uh, how do you get along with the other girls? Great. The, a large percentage of the girls are great. They're so much fun, and you're all in this together. You're all really feeling the same things, the same anticipations and excitement. So it's one big, like, girl bonding party. <laughs> now give us a schedule of when you arrive in Lang City, what per everything you have to go through and how long it takes Oh, that you know of so far. Okay. Well, I arrived in Atlantic City on Monday after being in Disney World for a few days. They flew us there. Monday we got to Atlantic City and we had like opening ceremonies and signing our mat, the, our place on the map and things like that. And then really after that, it's been lots of hours and hours of rehearsal. <laughs> so what, what time do you start in the morning? About six. About six. And what time do you finish? It depends. On a good day, 6. On a bad day, 9, 9.30. It's a long day. So, I'm not saying you're going to win or not win. What are your plans in the future? 
I would love to be a children's talent agent or casting director. I'm a dancing school teacher, so I want to somehow focus in that area, but just keep dancing as my hobby and have somewhat of a professional career in that. Now, would you plan to stay in New York? I hope so. I love New York, so okay. probably. All right, well, thanks for your time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Hello, everybody. I'm Tom McGuire for the Party Zone. Be sure to check out our new time slot, 6.30 p.m. Sunday evening on WWAC TV 53 in South Jersey for the Party Zone, the hottest news dance show in the area. Be sure to join us on our all-day taping October 11th from the Metropolis Nightclub in Pensacola, New Jersey. That's all afternoon. We have a lot of surprises for you, one of them being behind the scenes of the Miss America pageant. Also joining us would be DJ Joel Furness spinning the hottest music in the area, along with host Glitch the Freak. He's from the hottest radio station in Philadelphia also. That's on WWAC TV 53 Sunday evening at 6.30 p.m. And I'm G-Double. Come be a part of the Friday night party here at Metropolis Nightclub. Oh, right here at Route 73 in Pensalking, New Jersey. Call 609-663-2200 for directions. Metropolis, baby. Ain't nothing like it. an exciting career in modeling. Call now for your free Barbizon booklet and start on a new, more fabulous you today. Barbizon. You can get the look, poise, and confidence of a Barbizon model. Call now to visit our school and agency and come in and receive a free gift. Take the first step. Call Barbizon today at 649-9700. Barbizon. Yeah, out of the storm. Introducing Storm, a whole new kind of lemon lime. for watching that's always important and we appreciate it i also like to thank our sponsorship pepsi along with the new storm soft drink hard rack cafe here in Atlantic city portobello's pizza in ocean city and barbara's on school of modeling and and everybody who helped participate in the miss america pageant here in Atlantic city the staff uh the contestants uh miss america 1998 kate schindel that was, that was a big help now stay tuned on upcoming shows we're, we're going to include behind the scenes coverage including the parade of 1998 miss america that's something to look forward to. And thank you again. I'm Tom McGuire for Party Zoom. See you next time.